Business Editor Richard Southern joins us. And Richard, you're looking at how the markets are reacting to those scenes of insurrection. Yeah, I mean, all the U.S. financial channels, of course, carrying those unprecedented scenes as, as they've been playing out. But would you believe, uh, Erica, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed at a record high today? All-time high for the Dow. It was up more than 400 points. Winning day at the corner of King and Bay with the TSX picking up more than 100 points. Investors were actually more tuned in and more interested in another story out of the United States, and that was the Georgia runoff elections. Uh, looks like the Democrats are going to gain control of the Senate, so they're going to have all levels of government. Investors like that because it's political clarity. It's going to mean perhaps more fiscal stimulus getting passed to the United States. So. Traders, to a large extent, look past these incredible scenes we're looking at here and were more uh, attuned uh, to that uh, situation in Georgia and the new political reality in Washington. Uh, we saw cannabis stocks, Erica, rally uh, big time today. Uh, it could be the case now that, that Biden, now that he has the Senate, could pass uh, legalization for cannabis on a federal level in the states. Before we move on. I just this second got in a statement from Ontario Premier Doug Ford on the situation in the state. So I want to read it to you verbatim. Premier Doug Ford says, quote, the situation in Washington is absolutely disgraceful. The peaceful transfer of power is crucial in any democracy. And I'm incredibly disappointed with what we are witnessing in the United States today. Again, that a statement just in from Ontario Premier Doug Ford, Erica. Okay, thanks, Richard. And we'll have more coverage from Washington in just a couple of minutes. But we're going to switch gears for a moment and shift our focus to the Toronto housing market. Yeah, uh, red hot. So we got the December housing numbers in today. That means we can put a bow on the year that was in Toronto housing. And... Wow, uh, 2020 was a record year for the Toronto housing market. The average selling price of a home here in the Big Smoke last year is 930,000, up 13 and a half percent from 2019. The pandemic had many looking for bigger homes. The low interest rates also attracted buyers into the market. As far as the month of December went, the average selling price 932,000, 11% higher on a year over year basis. Housing remains strong, Erica. And WestJet is getting ready to set resume, sorry, resume flights with its grounded fleet of Boeing MAX 37 jets. Yeah, these are the jets, of course, that have been grounded for two years now after two deadly overseas crashes. Uh, they're flying them again in the States. Canada, the government hasn't quite allowed it yet, but out came WestJet today saying, listen, if uh, Transport Canada allows it, we're going to start flying these 737 MAX planes starting on January 21st. And we're going to start flying them three times a week between Toronto and Calgary, pending again approval from the federal government. Airlines are eager to get these back in the sky, Erica, because they are more fuel efficient, more uh, cost effective uh, for the airlines. So that was the news out of WestJet today. Okay, thanks, Richard. Great to see you. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks, Erica.